excited to see the new posters. I'm a board member with Syracuse Poster Project, and uh, I'm so glad that we are able to hold this uh, unveiling ceremony this year in person. So it, it was actually very special working on this series because I started off as an artist for three years in a row, and. Once I got hired as the Vista worker for this year, I got to work behind the scenes to make it happen. I'm uh, one of the board members at Syracuse Poster Project and we are so excited to have this event today after two years of virtual events. Alright, uh, this is the fun part of the evening. We get to celebrate you, uh, the poets and the artists that have come together and created such great art. inspired me to think of my childhood and those winter days when the weather report for the next day might include heavy snow. Um, I grew up with this mystery of uh, snow spirits and drifts as a child. One of the things I love about the poster project is that it calls attention to life in Syracuse. It really inspired me with, you know, to uh, go back to those Hello. times where all applications cease to decide to uh, run with it. I have a teeny story to tell you. In 1964, I took my first trip ever from Elmira Heights to Syracuse, New York. I looked around and said, I want to live here someday. I get my haikus and I'm looking for what I could apply it to. And most of the time it's always, you know, Native American theme. What do we value? How are our values reflected when we drive or walk through our neighborhoods? That's really cool. <laughs> um, well, thank you for the Syracuse Poster Project. What a wonderful idea, combining art and poetry. Thank you to the Poster Project. This was super fun. And thank you to the city of Syracuse for hosting me for the last four years. You've been very welcoming, kept me safe and sound.